What is up guys? We got a first place uh, store uh, regional championship here. You guys may have seen him in the past. His name is Adam Cisneros. Uh, hi Adam, how are you doing? I'm doing great, feeling great today. <laughs> and uh, he took his pet deck and he was able to win first place here uh, with, uh, what was it again? Uh, with Nami. Good old Nami. Yeah. Kind of yeah. a, good old Reliable. <laughs> so why Nami this set? Uh, any new support? Uh, yeah, definitely. There's a lot of new cards in the new set. We'll see the Kuju Pirate package. Um, and I felt like the meta uh, is a lot slower now. People are off RP Law more. Uh, so the deck has a chance to you know, beat up on the slower control decks. You're saying that people are off of RP, RP yeah, Law? Yeah, I feel like it's there's way less representation. Before, oh, okay. I felt like, I guess in the EB1 format, and even just like before the Sokka ban, there were still more RP Law players, and I feel like now there's uh, a lot less. Okay, that's surprising. Yeah, because I, I still see a lot of RP Laws everywhere. So maybe it's just your experience. Okay. Uh, yeah, so what were your matchups throughout there? Do you remember? Uh, I played against... Hmm, I think it was... I played a now Black Yellow Luffy. Yep. Uh, Luchi Luchi. Uh, Luchi Luchi and... And RP Law, and then the final was against Perona. Perona, awesome. Okay, cool. So good massive spread, but uh, you're doing your own mini game on the side, uh, trying to mill yourself. So that's pretty good. Uh, any tips that you want to give on certain matchups, or they're all just kind of the same? Uh, no, uh, every matchup plays a lot differently. I think that's what makes the deck uh, really good. Um, or I, I think it's where it gives a lot of player expression. Even though people say like it's Salter deck, uh, like remembering your stack and the searches that you play for, and the, your mulligans are way different depending on the matchup. I see. Uh, you don't like you don't play for board against a lot of decks. Uh, like against Black specifically, uh, against you know Perona and uh, RP Law. Uh, you have like set up your board in the sequence so that you get to take value out of the Kuja Pirate package, otherwise uh, uh, you're not going to be able to cycle fast enough or give yourself enough time to cycle fast enough. Uh, I think that's the hard part about the deck. I see. Okay, so learning your matchups is uh, still a very key po component of the deck. Okay, skill expression, let's go. Let's see the deck. Mm -hmm. um, the only thing that's still kind of from the old package, only playing two Das Bones, um, I felt like uh, this card couldn't be cut completely because you want to see Gavel still, or you want to be able to recycle Gavel. I feel like it's the most important card in the deck, and uh, being able even just to recycle just one if you only see one is very important. So um, I'm, this guy might go up to three, uh, but at least two for sure. Okay. And then these are the pretty standard cards, you know, the four Pilaw, uh, four Snake, the four Kaya. Snake is uh, from the new set, or uh, Snake is from OPL6. Okay, my bad. I'm sorry. Oh, yeah. And then we got Kaya, uh, good old Desert Spot up. Our good old draw two trigger and then the old uh, just East Blue triggers and draw cards. And these are the new cards that you're um, playing. Uh, playing four searcher. Uh, it searches for Amazon Lily or Kuja Pirates, which is very important. Um, it lets you search for uh, these are the new cards, Amazon Lily cards. It's a blocker draw. This card's crazy. Um, it doesn't have counter, but uh, you definitely. Having an extra draw card, an extra blocker against uh, anything but like RP Law is so important uh, because even if they like a black deck spends on to pop this, they're not attacking you for high numbers or they're often choosing to pass the turn so they can swing with a higher down count later on and that did its job, you know, way more than any other card could do. So it being a three cost is so important for this deck. I see. Um, then we just I decided to uh, play a Tuki counter, a uh, searchable Tuki counter. I know some people aren't playing this. Um, but I'm playing 16 search targets, so I, I want to maximize the search on my uh, Gloriosa. I want to make sure I get value out of it and uh, be able to organize my stack uh, uh, at the end of the game uh, is so important. Uh, being able to have more filter for that is so important. Okay, that makes sense. And then the other new card is uh, Snake Dance. It's the better um, overheat because uh, you get to return any one of your uh, characters. doesn't have to be standing. And uh, it's, just, it's just great against everything that's not RP Law. Uh, black, like, you can search it, like, you can purposely search it uh, off your Gloriosa uh, against the black matchups so that they, you have to force them to pop your board, uh, which is great. So, like, this is just, this existing makes all the other decks have to play slower or respect your board. Otherwise, you're going to get too much value and uh, get to recycle your cards and cycle faster. I see. Um, and then the trigger is just actually crazy. Uh, being able to bounce your own card, which is, uh, or bouncing your own card is very good. And then the optional part of bouncing one of your opponent's cards. So that part being optional uh, came up, it comes up a lot actually, where you just, you're choosing to bounce back a, a searcher, a Kaya, a Jazz Bones, yeah. uh, I mean, even a blocker. Like sometimes I'll, I'll, like, uh, I'll block and defend uh, or something like just from OPL1, which is also very important, is uh, if someone swings high numbers when you have a blocker, you just block and uh, 
just you can just, you only have to counter this because you're you're redirecting the attack, so you get to save counter in hand and play another blocker which cycles the next turn. Okay. And then uh, level of mellow, uh, just a staple four up because it's a Kuja Pirate card, so you can it search is. it off the searcher. Very cool. So it's really uh, nice that they you know cycled back to OPO one and are keeping some of these cards relevant, and it makes this deck just a lot more consistent. Yeah, I like I love when they had new support for old stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah good stuff. All right, so, uh, I, oh yeah, there's no side decking in this in this game. I forgot. All right, so, yeah, uh, enjoy your first place win here at the first OPO7 uh, California Regionals in the Store Championship. And uh, we'll see you more in the future, I hope. Yeah, definitely. All right, peace out.